Hello there, and welcome to another episode of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. And today we are going to dive into the nitty gritty of mods. So mods have been rolled out. It's been a little over a week now. And uh, so far the developers have been quite silent since their uh, huge patch they made to mods back this past Friday, I believe. So from where it stands, it seems like mods are here to stay. Uh, if anything, they might make some tweaks here and there. So this video is just going to go ahead and try to make a comprehensive um, overview on mods. We're going to go from the very beginning about what are mods, what do they do, and I'm going to take you all the way to the end where I'm going to give you some strategies and opinions on how you should, um, what you, what you, what you should keep in mind when you're um, working with mods and putting them on characters. And um, there's going to be about uh, several steps to this, so what I'll do, in case you want to revisit this video later, I'm going to uh, kind of uh, link in the description uh, the time for each topic I'm talking about, talk, uh, starting from what are mods and then working our way to strategies and opinions. So if you want to revisit something in case it wasn't clear or you didn't catch it, feel free to go into the, 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 the description and kind of check out where uh, what I was talking about during that segment. So yeah, let's get right into it. Uh, so what are mods? So we talked about mods quite a few times, but in case this is the first time you're hearing about it or you haven't seen my other videos, essentially mods were added to uh, pretty much let you fine tune and bump up certain stats of a character. And essentially this opens up a whole world of possibilities. There are many different types of mods ranging from health, you can bump up your health, to protection, bump up your protection, to bumping up your speed, defense, you name it, almost every aspect, even to tenacity, one of the uh, less desirable features that people don't really focus too much on, you can even mess around with that as well. So how do you get these mods? There's two ways to get mods and soon to be three ways to get mods. As of now, we have these two tables right over here. Um, if you look up here where mod battles are, this is pretty much where you start gathering mods. Uh, the first time you open this up, you get a nice little tutorial from a friend that um, that kind of walks you through it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can check out my first video with my initial reactions on mods. And there's a guy who just walks you through, um, through the first round of mods, kind of gives you a very brief overview about what's going on here. Each of these levels, you have levels 1 through 8. Each one has a different set of mods that you can collect. So as you see, the first one mainly deals with health mods. Number three deals with, uh, I believe that's a uh, critical chance. Yeah, critical damage mods. Uh, six deals with uh, offense. And eight deals with speed mods. And with these eight levels here, um, the only types of mods that you can get in terms of rarity is a two rarity mod. So if you look, uh, like for example, where you see the picture at the very top of the, of the mod, you see two dots. That indicates the rarity of the mod. The higher the rarity, the more powerful the mod is going to be, and the more benefits it provides to your characters, and the, the higher the primary stat will be, and the higher the secondary stat will be. And I'll talk more about that in a few minutes, uh, what primary and secondary stats actually mean. So here is... Um, you have to kind of decide what type of mods you want to focus on here. Uh, if you want to, if you're looking to bump up your character speed and you can't participate in the other table, which I'll bring up in a few moments, then you want to go here and get some two and one, uh, one rarity mods. And even though they're not the highest rarity, they could still offer nice benefits. And I'll show you, I have a couple of one star, uh, I'm sorry, one rarity and two rarity mods. So I'll go ahead and show you what they kind of look like when you max them out to their highest level. And the other location where you can get these mods, the big boys as I like to call them, is at the mod challenge table. And here it's a bit trickier. Unlike the mod, uh, unlike the mod battle table, the other one we just looked at, here is this table right here is where you can get the, the big guys. So you can actually get up to a tier uh, five or five rarity, however you want to call it, a five rarity mod. And those are pretty much the highest level mods you can get without the third method, which I'll talk about in a few moments. And the other difference at this health mo at these uh, at this table, the mod challenge table, is that depending on what mod you're interested in, you have to fit the synergy 
the team synergy that you, the, the requirements essentially in order to participate. So health mods are by far the easiest to get in terms of restrictions because there are no restrictions. It's pretty much open book. You can add anyone in there. So this is pretty much like your normal cantina battle. You can compose any type of lineup here and go ahead and participate. And uh, there's three, three levels of each type of mod. You have a tier one mod, which pretty much guarantees, uh, well not guarantees, I'll take that back. But you have the chance of getting a three rarity mod. So you see you have the three dots there, and you have a two dot and a one dot. And so you have a chance of getting those. And then when you go to tier two, you, you have a chance of getting a four rarity mod. And tier three, you have a chance of getting a five rarity mod. So the difficulty is upped for each tier that you go through. Uh, obviously, that's kind of how the other tables work when you go through tiers like our daily challenges. Uh, you have the, the, the it's more difficult, but the rewards are supposed to be more promising. Look, um, so I, the reason why I took back the guaranteed word is because after about Tuesday or Wednesday when this first came out, uh, they went ahead and reverted the drop rate. So before, if you came to this health mod table, you can go ahead, tap on that sim ticket. You can go ahead, do as many sim ticket battles as you can, and you were guaranteed a drop of, of, a, of a mod each time you battle. That was before the uh, Thursday or Wednesday, whenever this uh, update was made. After one of the updates, now you're only, uh, you only get a chance to get them. And when I say about chance, they say it's slightly higher than 33%, which is the Cantina drop rate. So now instead of being guaranteed a, a, a mod dropping, you have a chance to. I've seen plenty of pictures where people do like 16 sim tickets and the only get like a one uh, rarity one mod. Some people they're more fortunate. It all it all just comes down to pure luck. So um, so I'm not sure if they're ever gonna revert that back. That's where Pre Crafting 2.0 went. If you didn't see my last video talking about the weekly news, Pre Crafting 2.0 talks about just that the drop rate. Before uh, before they made that one patch, people were able to farm these mods like crazy, but no one knew that they were gonna nerf this, the nerf the drop rate that is. Uh, so. This pre-crafting 2.0 kind of just came out of nowhere. No one expected it. it wasn't like the first pre-crafting issue where people were told ahead of time that, hey, we're going to pull out these um, drop rates and uh, we're going to pull out this gear so you can prepare in advance. There was no preparation here uh, or no uh, forewarning at all. Uh, but in terms of the other mod challenges, you have to fit a certain criteria. So, for example, I really, really, really want to get some five, uh, a level 5 uh, mod for uh, speed mods. However, I don't meet the requirements. I just have Poe and Ray maxed out. Uh, two seven star characters, but you're required to have at least three of these characters. So I might, if I really do want them, I may just like farm resistance pilot and not even bother leveling them up because Ray, she can just probably handle the whole thing by herself. So I might go ahead and do that eventually to, um, to uh, play at this table. But as you go higher into the tier levels, the star requirement is higher. So when you go to tier two, the star requirement is going to be uh, a bit different. So uh, let's see, for example, I can easily participate in the potency mods because you just need empire characters. And if you know me, I have pretty much every empire character, seven stars, and even a lot of them at gear nine, gear 10, um, ready to go. So um, yeah, you need three star characters there. Uh, let's check it over here. Yeah, so when you get to tier two, you're, you're required to have a four star uh, characters or five star characters if you wanna move on to tier three. So if you want some of the best mods um, in terms of tier uh, rarity five mods, you wanna to come to this table and do what you can to try to get those. Uh, again, the drop rate's not guaranteed, but uh, you, you will get some here and there. It's kind of like farming gear. It's, it's a hit or miss. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. It's all just uh, part of a lucky roll, apparently. So, moving on from there, uh, moving on from there, we're gonna talk about now that you have these mods, you collected them, what do you do with them? So, do you wanna make sure you have a good set of mods? I mean, you're forced to go ahead and play a couple of games at the mod battle table, but once you have a few mods, even if it's uh, Rarity 2 or Rarity 1 mods, you still wanna start equipping them because they do make a difference, especially when playing an arena where those minor differences make a huge uh, a huge uh, 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 game changer um, when you're battling. So once you have these mods, you're gonna to wanna to go over to the right and look at your character inventory. And um, from here, you can either just tap on mods right at the very bottom, 
and it takes you to this nice little overview shows you each character kind of like the previous page um, but instead under each character it shows the mods that are attached and right now I mainly just have my meta team gear, uh, geared up and modded up because those are that's my go-to for uh, Galactic War. It's my go-to. Um, it's my go-to for uh, Arena. And it's my go-to for Cantina battles. So the, those are the, the most important characters, and you definitely do want to be choosy about who gets these mods because um, it's expensive. You can't just go around tossing mods on, and upgrading them, and uh, unless you're going to dump the money to uh, do all that, feel free to do so. But if you're trying to be uh, conscious about your budget, there is no way you're going to get 50 mods and put them all down, upgrade all of them in one sitting because it's just way too expensive. To put things in perspective, my last video I did a Grievous unveiling, or one of my previous videos I did a Grievous unveiling, had a 15 million credit. Granted, it took about 5 million to uh, get him to gear, uh, level 80 right away, and then a, a, another, let's just say a million to get him uh, to uh, gear, I believe, uh, gear 8, and I put purple mats on him. Once you get to the mod portion, I had a bunch of tier 5 mods, I think, or tier 4, I can't remember the, the exact number, but it does cost quite a lot of money to uh, upgrade these mods. So, so what you want to do, let's just say you want to go ahead and play around with uh, uh, Ray. You want to go ahead and get her geared up. So you have all these mods over to the left hand side. What do you do with them? Um, as you can see, I have a nice assortment, mostly health mods because uh, when mods first rolled out, health mods were just absolutely amazing. They were giving you um, these huge bonuses, I think like 25% um, extra health if you were able to match these sets, which we'll talk about in a few minutes as well. So uh, over to the left, you see all of your mods, they all have pictures on them. So uh, pretty much everything over to the left right now that I have, it looks like I just have health mods, but um, the health mods have that little, looks like kind of like an arrow going through an X. That's the symbol for health. Uh, if you look down here, I'll pull it up. But uh, you see all these different symbols. You have like a shield, you got the critical damage symbol, tenacity symbol, offense symbol, speed symbol. And you don't want to get confused. The picture that is on the mod. So for example, the all these health mods that I have over here on the left. Just because it has a health symbol on it does not mean that mod, so the, the mod's primary stats directly affect um, the health of the character. So, for example, I got this um, this mod that has the health symbol on it, but the primary stat, if you look over to the right, it's a it adds a percentage bonus towards Ray's offense. So essentially, you can you can mix and match these mods. Uh, but th just because it has a health symbol on it does not mean it's going to bump up your health. It's going to do other stuff like give me extra speed like you see there. Um, it gives me an extra 6% uh, offense plus 706 protection. But the reason why you have the symbols on there is because once you match them, let's say uh, for example health mods. If you get two mo health mods matched up, so we got these two guys right here, you get what's called a set bonus. And with this set bonus, so for example, if you have uh, two health mods, let's see, why won't it let me touch it right now? Um, there we go. Um, so for example, when you get two health mods not fully leveled up, you're going to get a plus two and a half uh, uh, percent to the health, the original health of the character. Before, all these would stack upon each other. So let's say you had a mod that added 10,000 health the the bonus would also multiply that as well now the developers they nerfed it to the point where these bonuses that you get so let's say you got the two uh health mods that weren't leveled up you'd get a plus 2.5 percent health now but that only multiplies it from the character's original health so ray um she used to have i don't know let's just say 11,000 health i can't remember you would get a two and a half percent bonus from that and uh, if you notice at the bottom I have these orange symbols, so I have three orange health symbols, and the orange stands for uh, a maxed out mod. So if you look to the right of the list, you have a max set bonus. So once you match um, the X number of mods, if you look to the left, it says required. You need two mods, either mods that aren't leveled up or two mods that are maxed out, then you get that respected bonus. And not every set works like this. So for example, speed mods, which I'm interested in, you need 
four mods with the speed symbol on there to just get the basic plus 5% speed. Now, if you get four mods and you max them out to the very highest level, which is 15, then you get this plus 10% speed that's shown on the right hand side and plus 10% speed of the character's original speed. So now you, that's what, so the, so long story short, with these mods, uh, in terms of matching the set, you wanna match the symbols to get the bonus. So if you're really looking on building up speed, you might wanna consider getting mods that have the speed symbol because you're gonna get a plus 10% bonus. Um, if you wanna bump up a character's health, you wanna go ahead and match these uh, health symbols. So I have six health symbols right here. Um, that equals three pairs because only two, two mods, uh, two health mods are required to get the bonus. So in total, right now I am getting um, a plus 15% health bonus to Ray because, um, yeah, because uh, we have uh, three sets and three times five is 15. So plus 15% health to Ray. Um, so those are the easiest mods to have. That's why I have so many health mods because they're the easiest to acquire. Um, now you have. So now we kind of talked about. Now we kind of talk about um, the differences between these mods, um, the, the, the rarity level, the, the, the symbol on the mods, what each mod does. Now we're going to talk about how do you level them. Because not every single mod, if you look um, where it says, um, when you look to the right up here, it shows you the primary stat and the secondary stats. Not every one of them has the same primary stat and the same secondary stat. So when we look over to the left, I have some, let me go ahead and back out a little bit. Um, yeah, so here's all my mods. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. So this is a five rarity mod, but it's only level one. And the nice thing about this interface, I kind of like it. The top right talks about the mod that's currently in that slot, and the bottom talks about the mod that you're that you selected over to the left and that you're considering putting in its spot. Because if you notice, the mod ship that you're modifying, um, there's shapes to them, and each shape can only fit into the same shape obviously so you can't have six um, six square uh, mods that you're adding on because you need an arrow mod you need a triangle mod you need a plus sign mod so uh, each shape has its own uh, designated mods and um, when you want to upgrade a mod you see uh, towards the bottom right it shows you what the primary stat is so at level one this mod only gives you a plus 0.63 percent offense so not much so uh, let me see if I can find something else that might be a bit cooler. Here we go. Plus 2.5% uh, protection. So at level one, that, I mean, it's nothing crazy, but it's those little differences could be useful for maybe raid, especially for those characters that you just throw in your D team or whatever. They might be useful. So the way you upgrade this, you probably already figured it out by now, but there's an upgrade button on here. So tap on that upgrade button. And here is where the money just pours into the game. Um, on this page, uh, you have either you have either the upgrade times 10 button, or you can just do a single upgrade on the left hand side. So we're just gonna go ahead. I have some money. Uh, I have almost four million credits. I'm gonna go ahead and just show you uh, what it looks like when you upgrade a little bit. And so let's go ahead. Hit the, we're gonna do the upgrade times 10. So that's gonna be 200, uh, or no, not 200, that's gonna be 22.5 thousand uh, credits. So let's go ahead and run it. Excellent. So I'm glad this popped up. So doing that one upgrade uh, times 10, it uh, got me to level four. Every time you get to level three, six, and nine, uh, you get what's called a, a secondary stat. With these secondary stats, you get kind of just bonus uh, add-ons to your character, which is really nice to have. Um, so this time, this mod has, uh, the secondary set is a critical chance bonus. So this will up your chances of uh, you getting a critical hit on someone. And also, yeah, you can also get this at level 12. I forgot that. So 3, 6, 9, 12, you get these secondary stats that add on. When you upgrade to the next level, so let's say you get the level 4, 5, 6, um, the, the secondary stats do not get upgraded. It's just the primary stat that goes ahead and gets the upgrade every time you level up. But let's let's just go to level, we're gonna go to level six just for the heck of it. This is a useful mod. I'll probably use it one day anyway, so it's not completely wasted money. So let's go ahead and see. Cool, we got the level six, excellent. So if you noticed, critical chance did not get any 
did not get any additional bonus. It stayed at 1.91%. However, we got the level 6, therefore we get another secondary stat, which was Potency, which does come in handy uh, for a lot of things such as the raid when you're working against the Rancor or the guards or whatever. But the primary stat, it jumped up from, I believe, 7% to 10%. So every time you're leveling this mod up, you're going to go ahead and get yet another, uh, your primary stat's going to increase uh, dramatically. So we started at, I believe, 2.5% protection. Now we're at 10%, 10% uh, and we're only at level 6 of this mod. So let's just go up to level 9. Uh, just to kind of show you what I'm talking about. So pay attention, look at the protection percentage, look at the critical chance potency, notice the difference when we level up this mod. So let's go ahead and get this going. All right, we're at level eight. Notice the, pr the primary stat, that got bumped up, but the secondary stat stayed the same. So let's go ahead and get to level nine. Pay attention. All right, there we go. So protection now we're at 14 and a half percent critical chance stay the same potency stayed the same and now we got health at 1.1 percent uh and again these secondary stats won't change and just for the heck of it let's go to level 12 let's see what this fourth secondary stat is all right and as you get up the levels it definitely it definitely starts uh taking up a lot of your money so we're slowly getting there right all right almost there so now it, it kind of lets you know tries to get you to spend more credits it says level up again to get a new secondary stat so it, it lets you know that you're getting close to a new uh, secondary stat to play around with all right all right almost there all right there we go and so yeah at level 12 we have 19 percent protection critical chance stayed the same potency stayed the same health stayed the same and we got an additional uh, defense. So we got a uh, plus nine defense. So it's just a flat stat added to your defense. And uh, pretty much after level 12, you will not get any more secondary stats. From here on out, it's just pretty much leveling up the protection, uh, the primary stat on this mod. So that's how you level up. Those are what your secondary stats in it, the, your stats are. And uh, so right now, level five, that's the highest you can get normally. Uh, but I'll show you what a level one mod looks like. So over here, I have this plus sign here. I already maxed it out. And even for a level one mod, it maxed out at level 15, it's still definitely useful. You have plus 7.5% protection. You got a little bit of extra speed and very, very, very minor percent uh, bumps to offense. So again, if you're on a budget or you can't get access to these high level mods, these little guys still do the trick. Let's see if I have another one. Um, this guy adds plus 2% offense. This one adds plus 2% offense, uh, plus 4% defense, but you get plus three speed. Um, one thing I love about mods is the, you can get some nice speed bonuses here uh, that are just added as a secondary stat. So even for two, even for rarity two mods, um, still decent 8% protection. Um, let's see, uh, you have plus 20%, uh, plus 20 offense. This guy has plus 2% offense and you get a little bit of health and potency. So again, these guys are, these little guys are definitely usable, but of course they don't stack up to um, plus 23.5% protection uh, because that's, that's, a, that's a pretty, that's a decent bump. And then if you do these bonuses, uh, your character is going to get an extra, what was it, uh, yeah, 5% health. So you kind of want to look at the mods and then figure out what you, what you want out of these. Um, so with that, we already talked about leveling up these mods, um, the secondary stats, primary stats, the sets, um, yeah, the set bonuses. Um, there are other little details on the screen. So for example, if you're strapped for money, you can go ahead and sell them. Uh, so you have all you can um, you can actually uh, this is actually nice as well I use this a few times when I was completely broke when mods first came out You can actually sort through them. Let's say you don't want any Level one mods so you can just go ahead select all of them and it tells you how much money you can get back so uh, it's, You can get 23.2 thousand credits for selling uh, four uh, level one mods, so it's something it's not anything too much but Let's say you are do you want to go crazy? Well, actually, go back to one. Let's go ahead and deselect everything. Awesome. Uh, all right, level five. All right, so if you select, oops, 
That was a mistake there. Uh, let's try it again. All right, so I have, let's see, one, two, three. Uh, I have about, you know, uh, 11 mods here for level five. Uh, mix and match between maxed out and not maxed out. You can get 142,000 credits. So it's a fast way to get money. But, you know, you might want to collect mods and try not to sell them because they may come in handy, especially when you want to start expanding your arsenal, giving it to as many characters as possible. And uh, before we get too carried away, if you want to get the Tier 6 and Tier 7 mods, you will eventually have to participate in the new Gr the General Grievous Raid. That is, uh, it's coming out eventually. The developers haven't made an official statement on the forum, but it was announced at one of EA's uh, events uh, last week uh, when, it, when they had their Star Wars event. So, um, so as the videos showed in my, I, I showed it in my last uh, weekly news video. Uh, this new event that's coming out for raid, where you battle General Grievous and his army, that is where you're going to earn your big, your even bigger mods. So we have our raid for the Rancor for your uh, raid gear, and now you're going to have General Grievous for your six and seven rarity mods. Before uh, last, when last week when mods first came out, you were able to get these mods alongside the Rancor gear. Uh, gear. I did a tier six raid with my buddies at, at, at my guild, and I had I got a tier six mod, but they quickly took all those away from our inventory, and then they replaced them with a five star uh, five rarity mod, and now they're only accessible through these raids that are coming in the future. So you may uh, I'm not sure how important it's going to be. I mean, these five rarity mods are definitely very good, but uh, from what I've seen with the previous tier seven mods before they got taken away, they were pretty awesome. So you might want to start considering um, maybe making some team. I said that maybe Jawas might be the future for this type of raid because it's all droids. So they might be good. We won't know until we finally see it and kind of see more details about this raid. So uh, until then, you could get these tier 5 mods, but uh, they're kind of hard to get and they're pretty expensive to level up. So lastly, um, to wrap up this video, we're going to go ahead and talk about uh, my type of strat uh, my strategies that I think you should kind of keep in mind. So what I'm doing in, in Arena right now, let me see if I can, um, I have no more attempts here, yeah. Um, so what I'm doing in Arena right now is uh, Han, Stormtrooper Han has actually become a very important part of my, of my lineup. He has gotten a nice speed bump. So uh, his speed got bumped up 49 uh, and now he, his, he go, his speed is 175. And the reason why I say he plays an important part is because when he taunts, he gives everyone uh, a, some additional turn meter. So he gives everyone 30% turn meter. So how usually matches work is that all the rays go first. Um, you might get one other random character going first, but then Han, my Stormtrooper Han goes, and that way my old Ben, he gets to go really early and he gets to ability block to pretty much everyone, put offense down on everyone. So it starts the game off really fast. And um, about nine out of 10 times, my Stormtrooper Han will go before Qui-Gon Jinn on the other team. And, um, it, and when old Ben goes, Qui-Gon Jinn is not going to strip Stormtrooper Han's, um, uh, his taunt. So you have to kind of look at your characters. What do you run right now? And kind of build upon their weaknesses build upon their strengths so stormtrooper honey was a decent character in terms of speed but now what i did is i upped his protection a little bit um i got yeah i gave him uh, a, about ten thousand more protection about three and a half thousand more health so made him a bit more tankier but at the same time i wanted him to be very fast so i can get going get my characters uh you know attacking first before the other team ability block everyone put offense down on everyone and then that usually starts out the game very well um some people with ray uh, that's kind of the, the, the cornerstone to many arena teams. You want to kind of either consider bumping up her speed, bumping up her attack, uh, bumping up her health and protection, because those two things are kind of her weak spot. There's a lot of ways to go about Ray. Um, personally, I have a balance between both of them. I have her with a, a lot of additional health and protection, but at the same time, I didn't want to skimp on her speed. So um, that Ray, you can get away really easily in terms of um, what strategy you want to play around there. So, uh, so again, and then if you want to work on the raids, you might want to uh, up the potency a little bit. So if you have, uh, let's say, Rex, go ahead and toss some potency mods on him. If you have uh, Qui-Gon Jinn, you shouldn't really need it, but go ahead and toss some potency mods, uh, mods on him. Um, what I'm looking to do in the near future, once I finally work, uh, finish working on my uh, uh, droid team, is um, Jawa Engineer. I'm looking to get a bunch of speed mods for him to ensure that he goes first and he's flying 
like a crazy madman, um, making sure that everyone's, uh, you know, getting uh, revived, make sure everyone's getting healed, making sure he's just tossing grenades on everyone. Uh, same thing with the droids. Um, one thing they're, that they're lacking is speed. And they'll also get protection and health bonuses along with those speed mods as I showed you. You know, some of the primary stats and secondary stats, they'll build upon it. So that way they aren't going to be one-shotted by anyone's ray. And um, so that's kind of where I am right now. Um, that's going to be way out there in the future. I'm still struggling to get Jawa Engineer to six stars. It's been two months and I'm still barely at six stars. Um, HK is almost there. I'm working on Chief Nebit, and Chief Nebit's going to get kind of a similar treatment. Um, probably going to be more like a Stormtrooper Han, but might not need the speed as much since Jawa Engineer will compensate for the, the lack of speed and uh, for the Jawa and droids. So we'll see. That's far in the future. But again, there's a lot of ways to go about this. Uh, you kind of have to just see what you're interested in, and a lot of it is just um, you know playing around. And be careful when you're playing around because if you do want to remove mods, let's say you don't care for Qui-Gon Jinn having an extra 23.5% uh, protection and you want to give him something else. If you want to remove the mod, it does get um, it does get rather expensive. It's not too much. So it's only 4750 4, to remove uh, a maxed out uh, Rarity 5 mod. But uh, and then if you want to get rid of all eight, you're looking at about almost 30,000 right there. So it does get a, a little expensive, especially if you have to do this for five characters you're playing around with. It was a fortune for me to just remove all the mods I added to droids when mods are very good. So I think I tossed away over 100, 200,000 uh, credits on, on mods alone. Uh, so it does get expensive. So play around, but also be careful. Um, when you're when you're messing around with this because you don't want to get stuck in a, in a loop when you're where you're broke and then that's kind of where the game wants you to be so you spend money on getting credits and all that so definitely be careful definitely be conscious of where you're spending your money but all of that in mind that, this was a, a, a very lengthy video 30 minutes long as promised in the description down below I will kind of um, mark the time for each topic I'm talking about so if you just want to speed through the video next time or there's just a, there's just a, a specific point you want to look into, feel free to check out the description so you can get to that topic much quicker. But yeah, thank you guys for sticking around and watching. If you have more questions about these mods, feel free to let me know. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll get back to you guys later. Peace out.